you're listening to our podcast, the glass is never half empty. It's never half full as well. It's always just completely full. Yes, that's how I would describe our podcast. <laughs> I'll, I'll go for one um, that you guys might not think I'm going to go for. And so I'm in like some mud. Unlike Nelson Aguilar, we was catching them. From- Everyone yeah. knew and it just went downhill. We've never recorded later at night than this, ever. Well, uh, our Fox I Meadow bet episode, we have. Our Fox Meadow episode. Fox Meadow episode. But uh, our didn't... episode with Timmy in Philly was yeah, like... That was oh, after that was Philly's game. That, that was, was so... Do- yeah, was, you're right. That yeah, was our that latest was our episode. Our latest episode. That was after a Philly's game, which was so late. Yeah. So, we're, or was that past midnight and technically our earliest episode? I don't know. I think Ooh. it was late at night. But this is this is later for an episode that we're recording. We're recording on a Sunday evening. The Phillies just snapped their six-game losing streak. Yes, they finally, did. it's been a scary week Wish. for Phillies fans. Um, we'll get into that later. Right now, question of the day: Do you guys break your spaghetti or just put it in the pot? Break it. Um, I literally. I knew can't you'd cook. be annoyed by that. <laughs> I don't like the longer, it's more annoying it's on the It's spaghetti, it's not meant to be short. I like the shorter, it's more manageable. Spoken, I have a small mouth. Spoken like yeah, a true like... Paglia right there. <laughs> <laughs> the mobster himself. No, that's my dad. No, like, you're supposed to spin it on the fork so that it is small. If you just go like that, yeah, that's not eating, but you get the, like, you get the fork and you spin it around on the fork I so it creates like a more manageable round. when it's shorter. This is no. a 1v1 on this one because no. I literally can't cook, Part- so <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of this conversation. I, I don't even like, know what I'm spaghetti, spaghetti. <laughs> I just know it as, like, noodles, so I don't even know what. Like, I'm is it, quite disappointed in you, Owen. I but, do I do know what spaghetti is, I've just never... I just never cooked it before, so... Yeah. I'm disappointed in you, but it's Thanks. okay, we can move on. <laughs> not the first time Luke's been disappointed in me. <laughs> he, he has... I'm not, I'm not upset, just disappointed. Mm, the mobs worse. paid him to say that because of his last <laughs> Me? <laughs> or, no, oh, Luke. Luke. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> they paid him to say you can't yeah. break spaghetti. Exactly. It's in his contract. I almost wore that shirt today, Owen. Oh, that would have been cool. That, that would have been crazy. Cool. I would have had to sit in the middle, so it wouldn't, we did wouldn't have looked weird. Mm. We would have had to switch up our order. That might have been weirder, though. That we would find shirt. out what people focus more on our shirts or our faces. I pro- yeah. That would be how we determine what they That's think right. is weird. That's yeah. right. Last week's draft, the results are not quite in yet. Right now, I'm barely ahead of Parker. The greatest Ooh. Sixers of all time draft. Yeah, I was going to say, I'll vote, um, but I mean, what do I know? No, you, know, you got to vote. I feel like you should you vote. Have to vote. Yeah. Is yeah. it on Instagram right now? Yeah. Yeah, you have to vote. I because well, okay, so there's it you can vote on the reel and you can vote on the post. So you could should I vote you on? could double vote if you want. Does should, it count for both? Uh yeah, I'm combining the poll results of, of right. the reel and the post. It's not quite over. So, I have a chance to still come back. Um you know, my squad? Team but just, just Team Luke. Mm-hmm. Just, I thought about putting an asterisk, but then I forgot. <laughs> just just compare them. I mean, just I see who's will. who's I mean, five would win. Do, is Luke really Did I have vote first for himself? Pick? Uh, no, you had second pick. Who had first? It's in the yeah, order of picks. Did. Oh wait, it, Parker had first I pick. I had first yeah. pick. Yeah, Parker took Dr. J, and then um, I don't think Luke knows who Dr. J. is. I know who Dr. J is. Okay, I don't good, know. Good. <laughs> I know him, and I know him. I you don't know Moses heard, Malone. I've heard okay. of him, but I couldn't that's, tell you a thing about him. I don't even. Hal Greer is really old. Hal that's fine. I have no idea who that. Whereas Parker called him out. I know Bill and Charles Barkley. I thought the H was silent. Was a great line. Okay, but I don't know either of these guys. <laughs> All right, so for okay. those of you that are watching, um, he doesn't know who Bobby Bob Jones. J- Bob Jones is. I was going to say his name is Bob. But Billy Cunningham. Kind of Kind of it looks him. old, so that's Bob Billy. Really I know him. Him. I actually know. All these people. Well, who, That's so you should vote for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then you I should vote, vote for me then. I Honestly, think. I think just because you know them all. No, no, come on. That seems he like a good enough vote. reason no, to me. Can't, he can't vote if he well, doesn't I, know. I, I like you how you just, just said he should vote. No, he can't vote. He the one dude said people that Iguodala is like the greatest player of all time. That's in the real. Okay, now you have to watch the real. But the, I reference that. You should totally vote for me now. Okay, Luke's going to watch our reel on our podcast now. That's kind of a weird meta thing. But we're going to keep doing these drafts because they've been popping off on socials, especially YouTube shorts. Like, people love watching them. So we're doing a draft every episode. Once Luke watches this reel and figures out who his favorite is, we're going to get into another draft. I think it's going to be... I think it's my favorite topic I of drafts we've done so far. It, it brings um, back a lot of nostalgia. It brings back a lot of, um, you know, sentimental value. Yeah. And it's 
a very important draft for Philly fans. Um, I say they're all important just, drafts for Philly. Yeah, yeah, just to reminisce. To he remember. voted. He didn't even watch the whole reel. He didn't get to Kellerman, and then he voted. No, so, I, I didn't feel I like I think he voted for you, and, and I'm going to boycott this vote. I'm going to strike out this vote. I voted who for, for who I thought had the best team with my minimal knowledge, so maybe it's not a very valid vote. Yeah, but see, this vote doesn't count. <laughs> That's uh, not what it says. To this is not what it says. See, when this is like the argument for like the presidential like voting like well, i was just gonna make that same case on the other side anybody can vote no you shouldn't vote if you don't no, have whoa, whoa, whoa 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 it is <laughs> your american <laughs> Hold on, I just joking. To vote. no i was just joking if you are over the age of 18 <laughs> yes i that's i will be not upset just severely disappointed if you do not vote wow a real disappointment <laughs> fest from luke to start off this episode <laughs> yeah. no i'm just joking i was, I was just being <laughs> facetious on that one um, let's get into our new draft. Is that what facetious means? I have no idea. I don't know in, either, in, so we'll just go with it. Yeah, facetious okay. means All right. yeah. yeah. I love being facetious. Who'd you vote for? I'm not telling you. He what? All you. that to not even say? Nope. No, he voted for you. What was the last two minutes about? There was a, all that buildup, and then it's just like, <laughs> it you'll never know. saying my vote isn't that valid of an opinion, right, but I'll, it's still I'll an look. opinion. I'll find it. I'll find it. How are you going to find out? He yeah, probably commented. Ooh, he, you know, I didn't comment. I just he voted. Just voted. On there, there were polls on it. Yeah. I just the uh, so now we'll never know. All right. Well, let's get into this week's draft. This week, we are drafting the greatest Philly sports moments of all time. Yes, we are. Let's go. This is huge. I think there's a lot of variety in this one. There so can be so many I, great moments. Yeah. The hardest part, I don't. I'm scared to get number one overall. I, I oh. don't know if I want the first pick. I'm the opposite. I think there's a clear one. And then everything else. I think there's a. I don't know. If I think one two one. is really hard for me. Okay. I don't know if there's. It a might be a biased one. one two, but. Well, that for kinda... me, there's one that I really want. I don't know okay. if it's a clear number one, but I really want to to get it. Okay. Uh, and so when we talk about moments here, are we talking about? I was just gonna. Yeah. yeah can you break it down? Like, mm-hmm. describe what a moment is. Yeah. Like, what is it? Like. So. I, at like, first, is it, is it like is it like um, a great moment in a game, or is it like winning the World Series? Like, I think that yeah, I feel like either winning or. winning the World Series would count as a moment because there is a moment where on that final pitch the Phillies won yeah. the World Series. Yeah. Okay, so like so that's your the, moment. You can't the take the pitch, whole series. Would the final pitch be the moment, or is when like? The moment would be How like, the two thousand eight World Series would be when the Phillies won the two thousand eight World the, Series, the and that would be like. Yeah, pitch technically and the last pitch in the celebration, but like, it's them winning the World Series. That's yeah. the moment. Technically, I would say a parade moment, Jason Kelsey, would be separate. That's different from winning, exactly, because okay. that's, that's a different like exactly moment in time. Yeah. Okay. So while winning the Super so. Bowl is a relatively broad moment, that's still a different moment than say Jason Kelsey giving his Super yes. Bowl speech. Yeah, in the that's the distinction. Like that, there's there's differences there. Yeah, gotcha. and I don't think if you say winning the Super Bowl, I don't think you get the whole game. No, you you just because get there's like, pieces of that game that yeah. are big moments in themselves. Yeah. So winning the Super Bowl is winning more the of Super like Bowl a is when that ball hits the ground and they celebrate. It's like that final play of celebration. The Super Bowl. Okay. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. I would argue, there's more. I'm not even gonna. Nope. nope yeah. Nope. We so, just gotta go into it. <laughs> okay. Because so, I know exactly what you were gonna say. Yeah. It's a specific moment. Okay. Yeah. In time, it doesn't necessarily have to be like one minute's worth of time, but it's like generally like yeah. this moment can be summarized as this. Yeah. So, finger picker app thingy. Oh yeah, I think I still have it on my phone. Oh, um, I asked, I also downloaded it because. Oh um, yeah, last week there was. Right, if you already still have it, I, yeah, have, I don't have it downloaded. Fake, right now. fake Luke. Fake yeah, it's right there. So. Here we go. To select the the winner is the gets to choose or is the number one gets overall to choose, gets, gets to, to choose. choose. All right. Ooh. I want. Oh, dang it! Now I'm second guessing myself. I want number one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I said at the beginning. Here? Here? Yeah. I'll take number two. All right, I'll take number okay. three. So this and is. I get, I get four too. Yeah, you get snake. And this I get is... I get five and. No, <laughs> <just kidding. laughs> We're each going to be drafting four moments. Four moments. This is the same as our uh, Phillies, or our, our best-looking draft, me, Luke Parker. Um, all right. I said that I think there's a clear number one moment. You're going to take it. And so I think I have to stick with that. And it's the Tom Brady Hail Mary falls to the ground. Time expires. The Eagles win their first Super Bowl ever. Wow. And Meryl Reese says, Eagles fans everywhere, this is for you. And at that moment, 
The streets are flooding. Everyone's going nuts. Light the confetti's falling. Oh, that's Everyone's so running movie. around Cars screaming. Are it, people are eating horse poop. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the moment that the Eagles won their first Super Bowl ever in franchise history, and specifically that Merrill Reese call, right. it just chills. Wow. I'm genuinely shocked. That you picked that. Think about your experience in no, that moment. No, 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 no. I believe I. We were jumping I around. I am entirely jubilant. Agree, I like I. That is a great pick. No doubt, top three pick for sure. The fact that it, I did one. not think that was going to go number really? one though. What I'm going to take is what I thought would have gone number one, and that is Philly, Philly. Okay. I think Philly, Philly, Philly is okay. a. I yeah. In my opinion, I feel like that, like just encapsulates what that Super Bowl was. Mm-hmm. like, And I think that the win is obviously huge, but I think that Philly Philly is an even bigger part of it just because, yeah, I don't know. It's mm-hmm. like at the end of the game, it was a Hail Mary, and yeah, there was defense played, but it's I, – I don't know. I just – I think Philly Philly like is a bigger part. I think, I think they're both great picks, and they come from the exact same game, which ultimately stems to that Super Bowl win. Very different – so wait, Moment what if I what if I pick that Super Bowl win? Does that count? I wouldn't pick this. I just picked no, that. You picked the you picked the last throw. No, that's, that's when they won. That's oh, the, oh, that okay. is the win. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna try and yeah. cheese. That. I think there's one other play from that Super yeah, Bowl that 100%. rivals. There is, but is it up there though? Like, no, I don't think it's a. Top I don't think three. it's a top three. Right. No. Right. I, yeah. Exactly. I I considered that, and then the reason I walked away from it was because it was in the first half, and like. They still, so I many know. things still could have happened. Yeah. But, but I understand but, just the iconic moment. Yes. 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 Yeah. Both of those great moments. Mm-hmm. I like how yours was like an overall of the of the uh, Super Bowl almost like the mm-hmm. final play. Mm-hmm. Yours that sigh of relief. The greatest yeah. play. That's yeah. The sigh of relief and the greatest play mm-hmm. in that okay. game. Mm-hmm. Both really really great. I think I'm gonna go a different route here. One that we weren't alive for. Okay. okay. Um, so an oldie. Boy, so like still my pick. <laughs> not you know not nostalgia for us, but nostalgia for people that are like mm. sixty or yeah. seventy. Right. It's going way back. And that would be the 1982-1983 season when the mm. 76ers swept. <laughs> the no, no, the, the, the finals <laughs> when they swept. No, when they swept the Lakers and won the NBA championship with Moses Malone. Mm-hmm. Uh, they recruited him for a reason. Such a huge moment for 76ers fans. Um, that, I mean, brings us back, you know? The old, old players for the Sixers that Luke doesn't know. I didn't um, even know that happened. So. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, it's just an iconic moment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, especially for Sixers fans who had mm-hmm. gone a couple seasons before that, close but no cigar. This is the first mm-hmm. breakthrough moment. And it was revenge against the Lakers, right? Because they lost yes. it on the first. Yeah. They lost right before that. Yeah. So. Okay. Huge moment. Okay. And that that's like a, a very important moment in Sixers history. I have a, a play from that series that I was considering. I didn't. I personally don't have like that. Like when those Sixers won that in my head. But I'm sure the people who were live back then. Like that's. Yeah, right. That's definitely a big moment for them yeah and then i think i'm going to i'm going to take a a a more recent moment now because you got to diversify you know what i mean you got to diversify and you know the guy to diversify with his name is bryce his name is bryce harper which bryce moment and this one so for me this is my biggest this is more of a selfish a selfish moment yes it's a huge moment but it's also the the earliest baseball moment that I ever remember, honestly, because I wasn't big into baseball when I was younger. And that's Bryce Harper, game six. They're down three to two in the eighth inning. <laughs> he took loose. Oh no. Okay. This is this is crazy. Bryce Harper. I knew I should have taken it number one. That's a no. great pick. He steps up in the eighth no. inning. And this is honestly the earliest baseball moment I remember. I wasn't into baseball when I was a kid. Oh. And so for me this is like Great pick. This was only like a couple years ago, I think. Mm-hmm. But he just 2022. He kills the ball, and then, and then like basically the announcer's like, "Oh, oh my God, Bryce Harper!" <laughs> That's and not what he said. Bedlam at the banks. The swing of his life. The swing of his life. And everybody, no, the, you can. I remember getting like tingles on my entire body mm. as it as I was watching that because I was watching it live. And I just rem- <laughs> and Luke's gone. <laughs> Luke's like I'm Luke's so- like I had tingles too, Parker. <laughs> and um, 
it was just like you could feel the energy of the crowd yeah and it was just like holy cow like i understand why people like baseball in this moment like for me i was never i think I that's wanted- how you know it was a great moment when parker was like baseball is amazing yeah. i think i wanted that moment more than i wanted my number one overall pick <laughs> now's a great time to realize that <laughs> i mean i like i the problem is like in my mind i think that's number one yeah but it's so hard to discount because it didn't win us a championship. The Super Bowl, That's the problem. Yeah. It was the yeah. NLDS. It didn't yeah. win us yeah, the it championship. Wasn't even the World yeah. Series. NLCS, sorry. Um, it sent them to the World Series. But yeah. It did. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and so now with this next moment, I'm having a lot of trouble deciding. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think you saying you had chills is actually that might be a better I think for us, that's a really great way to judge these moments. And for yeah. you guys listening, how to judge these is like yeah, the emotions in that moment, you had chills, like, what what it brought out of you. Yeah, and so I, maybe I had, it's, like, best, most chill-inducing moments well, and in I had to history. take I had to take a new moment because my first moment was one where I wasn't alive for it, and none mm. of us were. It was an iconic Philly moment, yeah. but we weren't alive for it. So, but I still, think it's, I still think it's, like, an insane moment mm. for 76ers history, like, really, really insane. So I wanted yeah. to grab that one as well. Man, that makes me really sad. Actually, very, very sad. I'm gonna. I'm glad that you won this draft, Parker. <laughs> wow! Two yeah. picks in. Let's go. No, I don't know. I we gotta see how the rest of the draft two picks pans out. But I am Jeez. so sad that I did not get that. I wanted that so bad. I'm but sorry. I'm gonna take another Philly Phillies moments right Phillies moment right now, and that is Roy Holiday's perfect game. Ooh, okay. I was between perfect game and no hitter. I was too. The Tell only reason why. I went perfect game is because there have been, what, I think it's 20, 28, that, that, 7, was the, that was the 20th now. There, his was the 20th. Uh-huh. It's, there's more now. I don't know how many there are now. In the 20s still. I don't think we've yeah, hit 30. Yeah, exactly. Like, and if you think about how many pitchers have pitched and how many games of baseball that have been played over hundreds of years, it is a feat that is only accomplished by the best of the best by so few players. And while a no-hitter in the NLDS was a great, like, like, that is an amazing accomplishment. I mean, it happened to the Phillies last year, or two years ago. And, like, I feel like that's a more common thing. And so I think mm. throwing a perfect game has a whole nother level of an accolade to it than just a regular no-hitter. And granted, it's a postseason no-hitter, and it had a lot of significance. Mm-hmm. But a perfect game, I feel like, has a lot more accolade than a no-hitter. And mm-hmm. that's why I'm taking the, per- uh, the perfect game. Okay. That's that's a great pick. I Both of the Roy Halladay moments were on my board. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, yeah. So that makes my decision easier. I'm I'm glad you did that. Yeah. Um, I'm still so not sure I'll pick the other one, but if if I have to end up deciding on that one, um, yeah, I'm not gonna take that right now. So I've got back to back picks here. I think the easy choice here, I'll take another Sixers Lakers Finals moment. Mm-hmm. Allen Iverson yep. steps over steps, Tyron Lue. Yep, that was my. I step. know about that one. Yeah. That one's. Just amazing. Oh, we weren't iconic. alive for it. We just missed it. That was it. one of the few Sixers moments I had on my list. And yeah. that's how you know it's an iconic moment. Iconic. That um, is iconic. It, yeah, it just... Allen Iverson puts up a 40-something point game, game one of the NBA Finals. That was the exclamation point. Um, they won the game. It gave so much hope. Obviously, they didn't win the series. But just that moment is peak Allen Iverson, just so perfect. Yeah. An amazing Philly moment. That is That is a fantastic moment. Yeah, that, I was, that was on my board, too. I was like, I like that one. I just, they didn't quite win the champ championship, so I was like, I can't draft the first overall. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's not worthy of a yeah. first overall. Yeah, I, I would agree, because it's game one of finals. Um, yeah, so now I think I have a really tough choice here. There's two that I'm going between. There are um, the two I'm going between. I hope you take one of them, because oh, it'll make my life easier. Okay. I think I think I need to like Parker. I need to snag an older. I I think I can balance out really well here. I have 2018. I have 2001. Let's go back to 1980. The Philadelphia Phillies win their first World Series hmm. in franchise history. So now I have two first ever franchise history wins because the Phillies, 1980, they were founded in 1883. They went 97 years without winning a World Series. That's entire and, lifetimes. People, yeah. were, people were born, yes. lived to be really old, even 20 years over the normal life expectancy age, and still died without seeing a Phillies yeah. championship. People who saw the Phillies 
start as a franchise and live their whole life. I feel so bad for those yeah. people. We have it yeah. good. We yeah, it makes you really yeah. thankful for the teams we have <laughs> <Yeah>. now. Um, <laughs> good. So yeah, just that amazing iconic moment where Tug McGraw throws his arms up in the air. They finally won. It's in Philly. Um, so yeah, Philly's 1980 last pitch win their first World Series. Not where I was going, so now I have to go back to a decision. <laughs> um, I hope the one that you take is the one that I was also considering. Because if it's not, then if it goes undrafted, then I'll feel bad. We but we will have a. I get for honorable. Belief. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I think I'm gonna go with this. This is just a moment, one of the earlier moments, that I don't remember the specific game, but I remember seeing it and knowing about it now to this day. And that's D Jack's Miracle at the Meadowlands. Mm. Part two. Part two. Or number two. Yes. 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 Yeah. That's a great one. And that I, is a good moment. I think every time I watch that clip, I get chills. I can like, you know, I just remember the clip. It's got the little lights around the scoreboard mm-hmm. because it's Christmas time and mm-hmm. just a great moment. Just D Jack's putting his foot down on the Giants and just a great time to be an Eagles fan right there. Well, maybe not, but great time to like the Eagles in that moment. Beating the Giants is always a win. So I love that moment. Hard. And you're drafting you're drafting the moment, but like the context of everything yes, before it too. Exactly. Like we were we were watching that game at my house and I remember I was so young that I don't even remember. But I remember at some point we switched away. Because they were down like thirty one to seven. Exactly. It was and my dad was like, yeah. let's watch something else. And we switched back like when they scored the touchdown to tie it. And we were like, what just happened? Yeah. And then yeah, Deshaun Jackson, they're supposed to punt it out of bounds. He muffs it. And then runs it, it back. Yeah. And, yep. He's running. I remember being so freaked. I was like, why isn't he running in the end zone when he's like zigzagging? I didn't yeah. realize he was stalling for time. And then he, oh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's a, a really good, good moment. Good that's, a, that's a huge moment. Yeah, it's such a good moment. Um, I have one that I'm set on. So I'm going to draft that one and then I'm going to figure out my last pick. There's a couple options. I don't know if I want to get too crazy or not. I could get really mm-hmm. crazy. Oh, boy. Um, but with my third pick. I'm just going to go another moment from the Eagles championship game. Mm. I wanted to grab them later here. Yep. Brandon Graham strip yep. sack. Yep. Yeah. That could have gone higher. That, it yeah. could have gone higher. That's what I was going to do. be drafted. sack and d moment. Mm-hmm. It had so. to be drafted. I don't, was, have a, a I don't have a football moment yet. And so I needed to grab That's this a great, one. Great pick. Yeah. He he pick. basically almost sealed the game. Practically mm-hmm. sealed the game. Steal um, it. Steal it. Your third pick, too. Oh, yeah. yeah 100%. It fell. It fell. Mm-hmm. It, it fell on the draft board. And it was just a momentum shifting game because mm-hmm. whenever, was, whenever Tom Brady has the ball, exactly. it's scary. And so getting mm-hmm. it, yeah, getting it out of his hands, literally, uh, just by being more physical, just... Oh man, I love it, and the fact that it was Brandon Graham. Yeah, all, like that's the like, perfect just an guy to do it. Philly guy to do it. Yeah, and yeah. he's gonna live in infamy forever in Philly. Mm-hmm. His name will never be forgotten now. Mm-hmm. Um, well, he'll live in infamy in New England, but he'll live that too. Oh yeah, because infamy yeah. is usually with a negative connotation. He'll live in. He'll live famous. He'll be immortalized. Yeah, he'll be immortalized in Philly. Yeah. That's right. Um, How crazy does he get now? <laughs> yeah, I could get really crazy. I want to I wanna probably save it for an honorable mention, though. I don't think it's worthy of getting quite drafted. Mm-hmm. Um, so we have a couple different options here. Uh, do you want me to tell you what they are? No, you guys no, pick I, after me, You just right? need to, yeah, you just need mm-hmm. to draft it. Just okay. Send it. You can't give us, yeah. Send it. This is your... All right. Um, I believe this was... Um, the final moment of the 2008 World Series for the, um, what's it called? The Phillies? Phillies? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Lodge striking out. Lidge. Lidge. <laughs> striking uh-huh. out Hinsky. Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. So yeah. The, winning the, the 2008 winning, World Series. Winning the 2008 World Series. That's a very good one. Thing. Obviously, yep. I don't remember this because yeah. my earliest baseball moment was like, more, you know, a Dang couple it. years ago. But. Parker's still two of my Phillies. That's where I was going. Wow. Basically, sniping it's you. it's super important. I mean, yeah. the Phillies hadn't won since, you know, when Owen, like... In the 80s, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 1980. 28 years. Yeah, 28 years. And, like, I'm sure for baseball fans, this was, like, a huge moment. Like, this was, like, man, the Phillies mm-hmm. did it. Let's go. Yeah. And, um, and the Lidge pose is iconic. Yeah. He's, like, down on his knees. I yeah. Like, Thank you. So, that's where I'm going to go with my last pick. I think it's worthy perfect. of getting drafted. Yeah. Yes. Championship. All right. Definitely worthy. Yeah. I'm drafting this. Could be controversial, controversial, but it's maybe one of my favorite moments. So it's 
I'm gonna go with it, and I'm just gonna go with Hungry Dogs Run Faster. Okay. Jason Kelsey in the Mummer costume. Great. On yes. The Broad Street. Yes. I think that's just such yes. a great moment. It, it's so iconic. It, I like feel like that moment, right? Like Jason Kelsey has always been a legend, but that moment I feel like is really what started his reign into mm. like Philly legend, yes. like icon. Mm-hmm. And I mean, with the mummer suit, and like it was just perfect. He was the perfect person to deliver that speech. He was the perfect mm-hmm. person to deliver the hype at that parade, and. I still get chills watching it to this day of just like, they did that, he did that, and Hungry Dogs Run Faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, great pick. That was Love that. I was between this one and the one that I'm about to take and that one for my last, so I'm, I'm glad that got drafted. Yeah. Yeah, it was uh, worthy of just it. Just so good. For sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so to wrap up the draft, I will be taking... When Ben Simmons hit his three-pointer. No. Uh, I was going to say. <laughs> the crowd went nuts because he finally hit a three. Um, no, that was an iconic moment, but not not quite up there. Um, my last pick to round out the draft, I will be going with Roy Halladay's playoff no-hitter. Yeah. And I will counter Luke's argument of it being uh, less rare. No-hitters are less rare, but, but in the playoffs. it is only the second ever no-hitter in the playoffs. And still to this day, I believe, mm-hmm. there's only been two no-hitters in the playoffs in history. Don mm-hmm. Larson, perfect game in 56, and Roy Halladay and with a no-hitter in 2010. The Astros no-hitting the Phillies. Oh, dang it. But that Okay, that was a, <laughs> a, a combined. So there have, there have been three in the playoffs. Yeah. There have been two by one Complete pitcher. No yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good pull, good pull. Um, I've kind of that blocked that out of my I memory because it, it was the Philly. Yeah, they used like two bullpen guys. Oh, you're right. Yeah, um, it was. Yeah, I've blocked that out the best I can. Um, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> You've done a good job. Yeah, yeah. So the Roy Hallad. And the last play specific, because technically if we're doing a no-hitter, that's like a, a whole game that's kind of broad. That's fine. The I, specific that's moment of the last yeah. out, uh-huh. Brandon Phillips just kind of like dribbles one up the line. Carlos Ruiz has to like pick up the yeah. ball, avoid his bat, throw it from his knees. Like such a dramatic last yeah. out also. Everyone's holding their breath like, oh no, is this little dribbler of a hit going to ruin this? That would be the most Philly thing ever. No, he gets it. Yeah. They win the playoff game. It's again, in Philly. I think that's a kind of a, Crucial thing. No, never mind. Just my two Phillies ones are in Philly because the step over was in L.A. I yeah, think. yeah. Um, and then the Super Bowl was just in Minnesota. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think that that's that's just an incredible Roy Halladay great pick moment. So that's that's great. I love that. Should we do honorable mentions or yes. should we recap yeah, we our recap our draft? Mm. Do, do you want to go first with honorable mentions? Because last time Parker and I went first, and then we didn't leave any for you, and I yeah. felt bad. So you can go. I want to let you go first this time. I mean, I don't care. Um, I only have. I like, have some basketball ones on here that yeah. I didn't really. I didn't. I had trouble drafting them just because I don't know the moments quite as well, and so mm-hmm. I was like. Do I draft them? Do I not? Maybe it's not quite as big of a moment as I thought. One of those being the Wilt 100-point game in her Oh, seat. that's a big one. That's a really... I like and that one. That's a super so unique one. That's an honorable mention. That's a good that's honorable, honorable mention. mention. Yeah. Sure. I almost drafted it in the last round just because I felt like I needed some diversity because I only have Phillies and Eagles. I do yeah. like that but, one. That's a very unique moment. That's, yeah. Because it's so. like it wasn't broadcast. So like the moment was just the people there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and then there was a separate moment of like everyone else finding with out. With the iconic photo. So, obviously. yeah. 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 So, I like that. That's, that's a really my good first one. honorable mention. Nice. Nice. Do you have any more? Um, you can say all of yours and then we'll just right. add on. Harper Grand Slam against the Cubs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great moment in the pow- so in good. the powder blues. So good. Gr- walk off grand slam. Sorry, not just a grand slam. Walk off grand slam in the powder blues. Great moment. Another Harper moment. Yeah. This one's just kind of a fun one. I don't know if it's the greatest Philly moment all time, but I like this one. The stare down. I dude. Yeah, the stare I was down. so strong. Love the stare that. down. Okay, so I'm glad uh, it was up in the running. Uh, yeah, yeah, even I, I know about. The I down. love the stare down. That like me. If it was my personal like top Philly moments that I've experienced. It's the Eagles Super Bowl win number one. Bryce Harper stare down number two. Yeah. Like that watching that live was just amazing. It was beautiful. Um two more double doink. 
Great moment in Ooh. Eagles. Yes, wait, that's a great one. Against the Bears. Against yeah. the Bears. That oh, was crazy. Bears. That I'll, was I'll, fun. I'll, I'll throw up here. My mom, we were watching it at my, that game at my grandparents. My mom has a great picture on Facebook that she gets a memory of every, every year of me, my dad, and my uncle <laughs> all in the same, like, yeah. position. I'll put that picture in. Yeah. That was crazy. That's, I that forgot is, about that. That wasn't on yeah. my list. These are good honorable mentions, yeah. Luke. These and then good. this one, I didn't draft it. It was a Flyers <laughs> one. Didn't draft it. Actually, I had two Flyers ones that I didn't draft just because one of them I didn't know the moment super well, mm -hmm. but according to the internet, it's a great Flyers moment. I tried to look up some Flyers ones to see if there were any that I could like resonate with, resonate with and I just couldn't. The other one is an era, so I didn't draft it, but okay. the Broad Street Bullies mm -hmm. were the most dominant hockey teams to ever play the sport. Just absolute like monsters on the ice. Mm -hmm. And so like that's just an era that was like, unmatched for the flyers draft idea eras of philly sports like you, you pick yeah. a team maybe potentially um and then there's this there was this play called the shift have you heard of that for the flyers oh. basically it was in the um playoffs in 2010 i believe and um there was this play where the one player had thrown a really good check on the one guy and Claude Giroux, name you probably recognize, mm -hmm. flung it out to center ice. And the goalie coming from the opposing team and our player were coming at each other. And the only way for our player to get to the puck first was to dive head first at it. So he dove head first. They compared it to Pete Rose. He dove head first <laughs> through his stick. Not even throw his stick, but like, but like ripped his stick out, yeah. knocked the puck to the side. Got up unscathed while the goalie is like laying on center ice and just whips it in the goal. And they ended up winning. The, they were down 1 0 before that with like in the third period. Or it might have been in the first or second. I don't remember when it, it was. tied the game. But it was yeah. basically a huge moment. Tied the game. They ended up winning 4 to 2 or something like mm -hmm. that. They had three unanswered. And then um, they went on to win the series. I don't know if they won the Stanley Cup that year or not, but they went on to win the series so, and it was a big. Yeah, Big moment, massive. apparently. So it was also, I think it was like Claude Drew's defining moment in the league. Like, mm, yeah. went before, because this was before he was captain. Was his, yeah, yeah. So it was like kind of his, I think one of his like welcome to the league type moments. Mm -hmm. Yep. So love that. Yeah. Also, to everyone, we've had in the comments, we've had a couple people being like, ah, uh, no flyers. And I've explained, like, we're working on it. We're going to get better at our flyers stuff. Just not there yet. So yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. I'll add on some um, Miracle at the Meadowlands Part One. Yep. Yep. The literally all you have to do is just take a knee, but for whatever reason you don't, and you fumble the ball. Eagles yep. pick it up, run it into the end zone, win That's nineteen seventeen. The uh, OG Miracle at the Meadowlands. Yeah. Um, crazy. Like, how does that even happen? Just like That's Deshaun. Just like Deshaun Jackson. How does he? Just, how does that even happen? Mm -hmm. um, so it's a miracle. It's a miracle. That's why it's called Miracle at the Meadowlands Part One and Two. I was going to try and cheese that if nobody drafted that. Try and just say Miracle at the Middle Lands and get, get both, both of them. <laughs> but, I'll take the Miracle at the took, Middle Lands. Yeah, but then Luke took the uh, second <laughs> yeah. Deshaun Jackson one. So I was like, well, can't do that anymore. <laughs> I think taking the second one over the first one was a good call. I agree. I think the second one deserved to be drafted over the first one. And then this, They're both great. This though. one is a personal. I think there's a lot of Philly fans that probably feel the same way. Basketball moment. Um, if I say February 10th, um, does that ring a bell? I'll give you a year if it doesn't. No. 2022. Was that an Embiid? Is that Embiid 70? Amazing game? Nope. Is that Tyrese Maxey 7 points in 17 seconds? Nope. Those are both Ben Simmons too. getting traded. Yep. <laughs> ben Simmons got traded on February 10th, 2022. The Simmons Harden deal. Yes. That's when it went down. So, I mean, I, I remember seeing iconic. that on my phone and being like, oh my goodness, let's go. I was so happy. Um, so mm -hmm. that moment, I was gonna draft that one. That was my risky pick. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's not. It's just. It's not a real, actual, physical moment. I was like, I can't draft it, but I'd give it an honorable mention. Yeah. When I was thinking about Sixers moments, I unfortunately thought of a lot more sad ones. I was like, maybe <laughs> yeah. the draft we do next episode is like no. most heartbreaking Philly moments. We should. There's a lot of options for There's that. There's so many. Options. So. And one of those was Ben Simmons passing up the layup. Yeah, against Atlanta. Uh, oh. The Kawhi shot. Yeah. Two right off the bat. Kawhi is the first one that comes to mind. That yeah. incredible Shots heartbreaking awful. moment. Um, you know what else I was thinking of? The Raptors, right? A moment yeah. that happened in Philly, another Super Bowl moment, 
Tom Brady dropping the pass that Nick Foles mm. caught. Oh, that was yeah. a great moment. Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, I love that. Yeah. Just, but it wasn't a Philly moment. It was a Tom Brady moment. But mm-hmm. still, I was like, man, let's go. Yeah. My other Eagles moments were from that the NFC Championship game in 2018. Um, the two plays, the flea flicker mm, yes. to play, uh, yeah. Torrey Smith. Just, yeah, amazing. Um, and the Patrick Robinson pick six. I didn't consider oh, that one yeah. as strongly because that was like that tied the game at seven in the first quarter or second quarter or something. Yeah. But like that was for sure what jump started it. Like he got that pick six and from there they dominated. Um, and then, yeah, the flea flicker was just a ridiculous throw. And that yeah. was kind of the moment it was like, all right, we're going to the Super Bowl. Yeah. It was like, let's go. Like, if, yeah, that sort of stuff yeah. happening for us, then we're golden. Um, other great Phillies moments. I don't think I had any others that you guys didn't bring up. I didn't have any Flyers ones. And then uh, Sixers, I I thought about... There's like a couple of Joel Embiid dunks that are like sweet, but not, yeah, they're not, not like iconic nothing level like crazy moments. Philly, yeah. He had his 70-point game, but that like doesn't really get remembered as like... There's not a moment really in there. Uh, it's just like that game was amazing, so... Um, yeah, those were. Those I watched them drop fifty, mentions. but then they lost the series. So it's like, honestly, every time the Phillies beat the Braves in the playoffs, <laughs> love that. Yeah, a lot of iconic moments. Uh, in so the, the Reese Hoskins bat spike. That was oh, my other one. That was my other. I strongly moment. considered that. Sorry, oh, I'm so glad I remember yeah. that because we left that out. I'm glad you remembered that. That's I mean, a great moment. The Reese Hoskins bat spike was so good. That was. I'm yeah, actually kind I'm of mad familiar. now. I didn't. You have to. Okay, you have to look that up. It I is will. ice cold. It is ice cold. Okay. Like, oh, this is gonna actually. Let, I'll clip this. Parker reacts to the, to Reese, the Reese Hoskins bat spike bats. for the first time. All angles. Oh, dude, it's so good. It's their first game of the series in Philly. Okay, first game. First game of the playoffs in Philly. Oh, wow. Electric. Absolutely electric. He just slammed it. And then he sprinted around the bases. Oh, my goodness. His last great moment in Philly. Oh, yeah. Wow. This. Oh, he's so hyped. <laughs> the adrenaline must be crazy. <sighs> oh, good Another times. moment I thought about good going times. with. Oh, this could also be a shout out. Um, wow. Oh, yeah, the dugout too. Everyone's like jumping out of the dugout. Oh. I, it was either first or I think it was second game of the World Series. Just the one where they broke the home run record against McCullers. Mm. Yeah, that one was cool. Like I, I don't, I just yeah. a cool honorable moment. mention, yeah. I guess. Yeah. But like, it was just really cool. Just like constant home run after home run, and to do it in Houston too was pretty awesome. Mm. So let's recap yeah. our our draft. Yes, my dude. Ah, oh, that race spike, man. Okay. Yeah, that was crazy. I forgot about. I I would have considered that for my fourth pick. All right, so I had Harper's home run in Game Six, uh, and then you know, obviously it was in Philly. Everybody went crazy. Uh, Lidge striking out Hin- Hinsky, mm-hmm. yeah, for the 2008 World Series win. Uh, 76ers sweeping the Lakers in the NBA championship in the 1982-83 season with Moses Malone. And the uh, Brandon Graham strip sack in, obviously, the Eagles mm-hmm. uh, Super Bowl win. Great draft. Those Parker. are great moments. Um, first overall pick, I had Philly Philly, Philly Special in the 2018 Super Bowl. Um, second pick, I had uh, Roy Holiday's perfect game um, against the Marlins. In third pick, I had Miracle of the Meadowlands Part 2 with Deshaun Jackson. And then my fourth overall pick, not my fourth, my fourth pick, I guess, mm. not the fourth overall. My fourth pick, um, hun- Hungry Dogs Run Faster, Jason Kelsey Super Bowl's parade speech and the Mummer costume. Man, I think this is going to be a really tough yeah, one for people to vote so on. Many good- I don't, I don't envy you guys. Man, um, my draft: the Hail Mary falls, Eagles win their first Super Bowl. Um, the Tug McGraw gets the strikeout for the final out. The Phillies win the 1980 World Series. Allen Iverson hits the shot, steps over Tyron Lou, and Roy Halladay completes his postseason no hitter. 
those are all stacked, yeah, I think. those are great moments. Those are, I mean, those are some awesome moments. So it's going to be hard for people to vote. I honestly yeah. don't even know. That was, that, a fun, that, was a yeah, <laughs> that was a fun draft. That was a fun draft. That was a fun draft. That was a lot of fun. I'm really sad I didn't get Bedlam at the bank. I really wanted that one. But yeah. I think it was, I think my, I think I didn't go with it first because I didn't expect you to draft it. Right. I think mm-hmm. that was my problem. I think I was like, I, I, I did pull a couple baseball ones. You did. I, you did. I was, I was thinking, okay, I'll get the turn. He'll probably go Eagles Sixers here with this one too. Mm-hmm. And then I'll get Bedlam at the turn and getting that with the second pick is yeah. a steal. Cause if I would have went Philly, Philly Bedlam, that would have been crazy. I would have yeah. been so happy with that. Yeah. But yeah. That been wild. I think having, I didn't think about this before, but I think having like moments that have names is a big uh, like help in this draft because it's just in somebody's mind like hungry dogs run faster philly special bedlam at the bank like mm-hmm. just yeah when a moment has a name that's a pretty yeah. good sign that's um, true that's true so yeah sometimes the name is just 2018 super bowl win <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice ring to it it's a pretty pretty good ring pretty good <laughs> that's a pretty good ring yeah Sounds good. Sounds pretty good, honestly. Yeah. Almost sounds as good as the ringing of the bell in Philadelphia. Um, next week's or next episode's draft. <laughs> the bell doesn't ring. It's cracked. No, the, I mean the one at, the one at Citizens Bank. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah they ring do. the bell. Um, yeah, I, I know. I'm just like yeah, the fake bell. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this this episode's draft was very fun. Was comment who you like think. Comment who you think had the best team as always. Next episode. It might not be as fun of a draft if we end up doing the heartbreaking <laughs> moments. Uh, why did we have to think about that? Um, so stay tuned for that. Comment if you want us to do that also um, and just be sad for about 20 minutes. Um, everybody who watches this who's not a Philly fan will really enjoy that episode. They will. Yeah. Um, especially if, fan, especially if it's with a team that you root for. Yeah. So, um, yeah, should we get to the... Actually, before we get to the news, how have you guys, how's your summer been? I've realized we've been doing, like, kind of shorter episodes. The drafts are taking up more time. We haven't talked about, like, our lives as much. And summer's mm, almost true. over. That's true. So, it's been a busy summer. That's doing all I gotta, what? I, that's all I gotta <laughs> say. It's, it's been busy. I've been working a lot. As you guys know, they shouted me out last um, time. Not official yet, but it's in the works. So, it should be here sooner than the later. Infiltration. The infiltration. Infiltration part... Three. Three, technically. Part, part three. three has begun. From the Pickle Boy to CEO. <laughs> We're getting there. <laughs> We're going to create a YouTube video. Road from, to CEO. Yeah, road, instead of Road to Glory, it's just Road, road to CEO. CEO. From Pickle Boy <laughs> to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. That's a great subtitle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from Pickle Boy <laughs> to Chick-fil-A yeah. CEO. So, so I've been working my butt Chick-fil-A. off this summer. Mm-hmm. Got that opportunity, which is great. Still working hard. Um... Yeah, just getting ready to go back to school. Which just climbing the corporate ladder. Will be good. It'll be good to go back to school. Sad I won't be recording with them, but... Mm-hmm. Well, we'll still record. I just won't be in person, which yeah. will be sad. Yeah. I hope we still record. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have, like, a best story from the summer? Ooh, on the spot. Or maybe while Parker shares about his maybe summer, Maybe I'll think of think. something. I don't know if I'll be able to. But. Yeah. My summer's been... Got to start looking through some pictures. Been great. Usually there you go. Strike yeah. up a memory. I would say it's not too unlike last summer. I just kind of vibe in, chilling, hanging out with people, mm-hmm. um, and then working during the day. Yeah. So it's pretty pretty cool. I think your best story of the summer is the Amish kid throwing up in your car. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's that's not that's, a good one though. I don't like I don't like that. I've told that I've told that story to people. My parents have told that story to people. Yeah. And every time it, it gets hits, like it such a hit. reaction. Yeah. People I mean, are like. What? It was well. It was not smart on my end. It was a tactical error um, to even say yes in the first place because of a couple of reasons. Because one, this guy has never, like, the kid, the kid has never ridden a car before, so that's a tactical mistake. Because it's like we're gonna be driving the entire day. We saw t- over twenty houses that day, mm-hmm. driving around all of the county. So of course, like, like, just like. A known fact is that you're gonna get sick. Like if you never raised your car before. Yeah. So I should have known that. And the second thing is like the liability standpoint of like me. What if I get in a crash and the kid gets hurt? That's a bad. Yeah. That's bad on my end from a liability standpoint. Mm. So that puts me at higher risk for like liability wise. So. Yeah. Yeah. Not smart. Uh, 
but it happened. It happened. So, you know, you live and you learn and mm-hmm. we'll, we'll learn next time that maybe it's not the best idea to you know, do that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. I thought of a story. I'll share my story before you go quickly. Yeah. Two, two potentials here. You guys can Ooh. decide which one you like better. Um, got to go to a Phillies game this summer. Always super hype. Probably one of the most exciting Phillies games I've ever been to. Our seats were great. We were right in in right field, literally row one. Like, you look over and it's just the <laughs> warning track. Like, row one of right field, which was sick. Um, got Jose Alvarado to wave to me, which was pretty cool. Um, and they hit, like, five or six home runs that game, which was just so hype. Um, that was a lot of fun. Other moment... Shoot, what was it? I have one for Luke. Oh, oh no, hold on. Oh, I, a golf? Hole 14, <laughs> Luke steps up. Oh, <laughs> that was a banger moment. That was, Honestly, we were going wild. I think that oh, got yeah. him. The other moment that I was thinking of is I'm going to see a Zach Bryan concert in like three days, so I'm super oh, hyped pre-moment. for that. Pre-moment. Okay. Um, oh, the Josiah Queen concert was also so much that fun. That was sick. That was but yeah, off summer. Yeah. Hole 14, top 10 Luke Moments all time, maybe. That was sick. <laughs> did, did we set the we stage should, for people on that you one? Gotta, yeah, you gotta tell that. We should okay. draft moments for ourselves. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> Nobody else knows about those. <laughs> that's fair. Never mind. No, that's yeah, dumb. no. That would be off camera. Off that camera. would be fun. And and off camera. Do. I don't want it to be on camera. Yeah. Yeah. What were we saying? Um, so, you got to set, set the stage for the golf moment. So, me and Luke, we were uh, versing our, our dads. We always go to New York every year, upstate New York. <laughs> and we play a golf game against our dads. And we were playing very well, uh, especially Luke, especially the back nine. Luke, the back nine, was like Scotty Scheffler today at the Olympics. Scotty went Maybe nine under good. on his round. I started one under after three holes. So. <laughs> Luke was dominating, especially on the back nine. He really picked it up. But he was playing well the entire way, basically. And he was carrying me for sure. Uh, I did pick it up a little bit, but still Luke was carrying. Anyway, um, we, you know, we get to hole 10. Luke hits a really good drive. He ends up having a look for eagle on this hole. I'm just going to preface yeah. this for you, mm-hmm. yeah. and you can say that actual moment. He ends up having a look for eagle on this par 5. Um, like a 35. Misses it, but birdies the hole. Yeah. yeah, it was a great hole for Luke. But on that drive, he... Uh, well, right after it, he kind of like... His driver snapped a little bit. Like, your driver... It, no, the head broke off. Yeah, it the head broke off. Snapped. <laughs> it snapped a little bit. The head broke off. Yeah, so Luke's driver was unusable after that It was that like a point. 20-year-old driver, though. Yeah, so it was it old. Was, it was older than me. Yeah, exactly. So Luke, you know, at that point, he was just borrowing my driver. We were on the same team. Okay? Now, we're, Luke's having a couple good holes, a couple good holes. We get to hole 14. It is a par 4, 295 yards. yards like 295 that. yards. Pin location is towards the front right. of the green. It's sloping down, sloping down the front. You need to hit it about front, right? 265, yeah. 270 to clear this little creek. Like carry it, 265, yeah. 270 to clear to, to clear this creek, clear like this stream. stream. It's a little yeah. stream. And two se- like between 250, 270 is usually where I hit my drive. That's about where I'll hit it. I can hit it further if I hit it well, but usually 250, 270, somewhere in that range is where my drive will Go. So I step up first. I hit. I take my um, my three wood because I'm playing it safe. Because we're playing best ball, so like yeah. I just am playing one safe. Hit it right in the middle of the fairway. It's perfect, like a perfect shot for a layup. So it, it enables Luke to just go at it. So now Luke, you set the. So I step up to the tee box with my driver, and my mindset is I've got a ball that we can play, no matter what. So we're in a good location with that. We've got a good shot right in the middle of the fairway. I'm going up. I'm like. I'm just going to crush it. Like, I'm just going to hit it as hard as I can. With my driver. With his driver now. Yeah. And just go for it, because why the heck not? I step up, a few practice swings, whatever. I kill that ball. I hit it. It's probably the hardest I've ever hit the ball. And I drive the green. He it flew la- it on the I green. I flew it on the green. So I carried, like, 295 yeah. pretty much. You can you see the divot mark and the ball rolled backwards a little bit. It's, it's still on the back. green. It spun back a little bit. And it was sloping forward. Yeah, we're like ten feet from the hole and we have a ten foot eagle putt. Uphill, uphill, uphill. eagle putt. It we, was very uphill. Though. It was very very uphill. It was a steep uphill. It was a tough green to play for sure. We let Luke hit first for Just his to, own eagle. Yeah, for my own eagle. Miss the eagle putt. Make the birdie putt. Yeah, so true um, birdie. So true, true birdie. birdie. And, and I then Parker, we were scrambling, so Parker didn't make the eagle putt yeah, either. It was but a hard we, putt. But we had the birdie, so that's, mm. that is really And that, that is what 
that is what I think essentially put the game away. I think I, it, number one, it put us up by quite a few strokes. And, and number that was two, hole 14. Yeah. We only had 15, four holes And number left. two, after that, the dads were just demoralized. <laughs> they were demoralized. <laughs> like, we were, we were in their heads. They were like, and we ended up how did like he just seven. drive the green? Yeah. Like, that was we're maybe not as my strong greatest. as our sons That anymore. was maybe top five moment, top three moment in golf for me. Wow. Yeah, that's a great Other moment. moments, chipping in. Chipping at in at Overlook. Overlook. That was a, for my first me ever Me and Luke have crazy moments. Chipped in at Overlook, Overlook for my oh, we first ever We have to take Evan so you can see some of these moments. Yeah. I went with you guys one time, and I just remember it was super muddy. Yeah. Honestly, those are, those are probably one, two right there. Driving the green on that mm. hole, and... That Overlook chip Overlook in. That chip was crazy, too. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what else would be up there, so... Those are the... Yeah, two really great moments. Golf gives you some good moments. Also gives mm-hmm. you some really crappy moments. Uh, it does. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. It yeah, makes you come that, back, though. Yep. I know. There's some very, very lows. Me I and Luke, golfing. so keep in mind, we won this round by seven, but there was a moment where me and Luke were, we're down upset. four strokes. We were mad. Like We were down like two, three or four strokes. Like, and we I was were, playing awful. I had broken two clubs. Yeah, Luke broke two clubs. What? One because he just broke it. Another one because he was... Yeah, hit a rock. And... You know, got a little upset. Well, so yeah, so here, I'll give you the story on this <laughs> oh one. It's already goodness. here. So, I am, it's a par three, very <laughs> elevated green. If you miss left, you're down a little bit of a hill. If you miss right, you're screwed. You're, you're screwed. You're down, you're down probably 20 feet. Like three stories, probably. Oh, yeah. And there's just no hope. I'm already shooting for like five or six at this point. So, I'm just, I'm just like whacking it. I, you know, hit and I hear this like, or my club just stops. And it hurt my hands. I was like, what just happened? So I pull my club out and it's like, I see a rock and my club is like slightly bent, but I, I was so mad. I slammed my club on the ground and then it snapped, <laughs> but it was already bent. So it was useless anyway. That's why I felt okay. Slamming Good caveat, it. Yeah. And then I threw it into the woods behind us. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had a video of that. It was, yeah, I was so oh. angry. I was, I don't get visually angry like that. Mm-hmm. nearly ever i'm not a very angry person to begin with but i was very angry yeah and, and um, that hole so i didn't do any better that hole i think we had like a 12 or something we maxed out on it that was hole. it was a part like, three and we yeah, it that's, was oh, it was so we were, and that's why you were so down bad. for yeah we were losing we were losing and mm-hmm. i was upset too i didn't break a club or anything but i was <laughs> i was so upset yeah that was me <laughs> Uh, I was not playing good the entire day though. Luke turned it around. Luke yeah, turned it around. I, it was it was a fun day. I had a I sure. had like four good holes. The rest of them Luke carried me. So yeah, good day yeah. for sure. And hopefully we, we played did. off each other's shots well though. Yeah, we did. We hammed a negative for yeah. sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Teamwork. Right. That's what it takes. To your top moment yeah. of the summer. We yeah. interrupted you for too long. Yeah. Um. It's been a good summer. That's good. Back. I'm glad you've had a good summer. Back in PA, yeah, um, missed summer twenty three because I was at school. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's just good being back, um, working a bunch of like different part time mm-hmm. jobs. I think I have like six part time jobs oh, going on right now. <laughs> um, so like learning how to schedule all those different things. Yeah, um, nothing's like yeah full time, but figuring out like okay, I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna do this and then tomorrow I'm gonna do these things. Um, so that's been, that's been fun to figure out challenging. Yeah. A lot of time management. Um, been working with Parker on some social content. Oh yeah. Real estate for that. Real estate. That's been a lot of fun. Yeah. They are Um, fun. They're cool. They're really fun. Yeah. Hoping to step my game up on like the most recent one. Anyway. Um, it's sick. It's sick. So yeah, that type of stuff. I've been able to do work in like the media field. So that's been good. I've been staying like in that I haven't had to take a random job, which is nice. Um, best moment, I don't know. I can't think of a, one specific best moment. My my like most interesting story that I have is um, from about a month ago, Grace and I went out to dinner for my birthday. Um, she, yeah, wanted to take me out to dinner for my birthday. Oh, and nice. you know, I'm, I'm the man I pay for meals, but she was like, I'm going to treat you cause it's your birthday. Mm-hmm. So we go out Fair to enough. dinner. Um, it's called agape. I don't know if you mm-hmm. guys have ever yeah. been there. It's really good. Very good. She introduced me to Delis- it. Del- delis- a, delicious. A couple years, a year ago, maybe she introduced me to it. Um, and yeah, I'm hooked. I love agape. Um, right by sight and sound anyway. Um, so yeah, we had dinner, 
It was great. Um, we went to order dessert, and uh, the waitress handed us the because you you like go up to the like mm -hmm. counter and get your desserts. They have them up there. It's a little bit different. So um, the waitress was like, oh, you're gonna go get dessert? Okay, I'll get you your bill, your receipt. Um, and she hands it to us and she was like, here you go, somebody paid for your meal and I'm not allowed to say who. Yo. And we still don't know to this day. Let's so we we're just go. both like, what? Someone just randomly like paid for our meal? I love that. And we were, Grace was like more suspicious or not suspicious grace is more into it than i was like i was like wow that's crazy but like by the was time grace we were trying at, to figure out who it was by the time we were out in the car i was like <laughs> man that was weird but grace was like it was just so mind-boggling to her she could not <laughs> get over so, it she so was trying think, to figure it out like do you think it was who? somebody like in the restaurant or do you think somebody called the restaurant and was like hey my son and his girlfriend or i guess if it was whoever her parents or her parents or mm -hmm. do you think it I think it was probably someone It wasn't that's our parents. What I'm thinking of. We were trying to figure, we were like, did, would anyone have known that we were going to this restaurant? Luke, we don't think guys, anyone this did. This is the reveal of the ah! century. <laughs> um, we don't think anybody knew. I have some family on my dad's side who's like out in that area, and it's possible they could have been there, and we just didn't see them. There's but probably like, someone in the restaurant. We could have, we feel like we would have seen them. Yeah, person. that Grace is like maybe they just liked seeing a young couple who's not on their phones, and I was like, it could have been, been an old that, couple who's like those two look nice. We sh so we still don't know, but it was crazy, and I was like, of course, the one time Grace is paying, it gets paid for. Yeah. <laughs> so that's um, funny. I think that's my best story. Oh, I love that. From that's the summer. hilarious. So that is good. I love that. Uh, yeah, yeah. So good, to, good for the people to catch up. We yeah. do those things, but because we're friends, guys. Um, but yeah, I was like, we haven't talked about ourselves a little bit on the podcast, and I do want to do that because I think that helps us like, yeah. be more personal to the audience. I we're agree. not just draft. We're not just GMs who draft random Philly things. Exactly. We so. are. We are people too. Yeah. <laughs> GMs are people too. What if we drafted the best Philly drafts? Like draft classes. <laughs> That's <laughs> that'd be tough like for baseball. Philly draft oh, classes. I thought you were awful. talking about our drafts. Oh, like no. draft, <laughs> which draft? That Once we've done, we've done enough of them, that would be really hard. <laughs> Drafting our that would draft. be a very difficult draft. Yeah, because they're so different. Like you, fit, like no baseball Phillies ones are so I random. We, I can't. I personally cannot think of a Phillies draft class that I would draft. Because um, I also don't know, I don't follow baseball drafts at all. The Phillies drafted Aaron Nola in the first round of one draft. In the, like, yeah. yeah baseball I, would be so hard. I don't hard. follow baseball draft classes at all. Basket Sixers, it would be like a bunch of terrible drafts. And then, like, the time they drafted Joel Embiid. And then the Eagles drafts. The Eagles draft classes would be we could do. Terrible up until, like, we could do Howie Eagles draft classes. Well, but, like, the. It'd be tough to rank because, like, the 2020, you took Jalen Rager, but you, you also, also took, took Jalen Hurts. Hurts. So, but yeah. But Jalen anyway. Rager was so unbearably <laughs> awful that it doesn't even matter. It overrides. They just cancel Jaylen. out. I forgot no, it about doesn't him cancel out. It overrides. Stop Jaylen talking about Jalen Rager. Rager. Exactly. Jalen Hurts is yeah. so good, though. I don't care. No. Jalen Rager is the worst thing that ever happened to Philadelphia. Yeah, stop. No, Ben Simmons is. Jalen Rager is close second. Okay, but another Hurts. draft. Worst Philadelphia athletes of all time. We're just coming up with so many ideas. We are, we are. Ooh, that's a tough one. Who's the number one? Ben Simmons or Jalen Rager? I ben think Ben Simmons. I yeah. Think Jalen Rager Number one overall pick. Jalen Rager is a very, very close number two. Yeah. It's a close number two. Yeah. Jalen Rager is number two without like a doubt. Yeah, because Jalen Rager, it was like literally from the moment they drafted him, we were all everyone like, knew, yeah. and it just went downhill. It was already downhill. Let's kiss Ben Get Simmons. Justin Jefferson. Ben Simmons. It was at least uh, like there was hope, and then he was good, and then he fell off, and so like it's a little more complicated. Jalen Rager, it was just. Oh. Completely downhill, and, and we knew it too. And there was no, yeah, and Justin no Jefferson, hope. of course, got drafted right after. Yeah. Complete and, uphill, the whole. Yeah, and we knew what we should have done. Way. Yeah, we all knew. We all, everybody thought we were drafting Justin Jefferson. Yeah, we were like yeah. the Vikings thought we were drafting Jeff Justin <laughs> Jefferson. Yeah. We we're like, he fell to us. Let's go. But then they didn't draft him, and they drafted a complete bust, which we knew was going to happen. Anyway, I also have an honorable mention. Yeah, we don't have to get stuck of, on that. Yeah. Um, unlike Nelson Aguilar, we was catching him. <laughs> <laughs> that moment. <laughs> that's oh a great God. moment. That's a great moment. Yeah, the firefighter. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. I forgot about that one. That's a good honorable mention. But. Yeah. Uh, let's get to the news, yes. shall we? 
All right, so Kelsey. where do we start? New news. Uh, Just kidding. We're not Jason and Travis Kelsey. I love you. Well, let's go Sixers first. Nothing too crazy. No. Uh, Tyrese mm-hmm. Maxey, though, is looking jacked. Um, very I think strong. You guys just blo- yeah. He's like, you know, he's already fast. So imagine he's already good on fast break. Imagine he's just unstoppable on a fast break. Now he can body you. He's like, he's like the quick LeBron James. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a that's a fair comparison. Yeah, exactly. keep expectations low. Yeah, exactly. That's a very he's like out there comparison. He's like the quick LeBron James. He's just faster and he's just stronger. And um, <laughs> it is it's amazing. He had his press conference for signing his extension and he had he had like a tight polo, I guess. He had a tight polo on and everyone was like, um, what is Tyrese Maxey taking? He, I think the term was like he has like a V shoulder or V taper shape. Yeah. Yeah. He it. Yeah. It's uh, he's been hitting the weights. So he said he got steroid tested uh, the day after because everyone was. <laughs> amazed um it's 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 a fun feeling as a fan when there's like a guy you already like and Who then just looks like he's getting stronger yeah fans just eat that up like and oh this healthy. guy's been he's in the healthy. weight room that was like when yeah. Bob came out this season and oh, like yeah. gained like 30 pounds in muscle or yeah. something like that uh-huh and like it's just so cool to see someone growing in the off season like yeah, yeah. getting like they're healthy you mm-hmm. know with Embiid, it's like you know he can't really train a whole lot he's just you know ankles are bad and yeah. knees are bad Mm-hmm. But like seeing someone actually healthy, able to put in work, and is doing it, yeah, very cool. To see. And Philly especially yeah. loves that. Like, oh, this guy's yeah, clearly put in a ton of work in the off season. Hopefully, we get to see it yeah. pay off. I think we could agree that um, the Eagles got better than they were last year. They lost Kelsey, obviously, but yeah. net net better than last year. Even just agree. from like the coordinators, mm-hmm. the coordinators last year were bad, yeah. and this year we feel like we've improved. So. It seems like we we think they're better, but the national perspective is that the Eagles are worse. Yeah, which is an interesting yeah. dynamic. I mean, a lot of the power rankings. I mean, I even see Jalen Hurts like not top ten quarterback, which mm-hmm. coming out of last season, probably understandable. Definitely not top five, but like guys like Dak Prescott should not be above Jalen Hurts. Yeah. No, no, he had not. Quite as good of a year as he did in 2022, but he's still a top level quarterback. Yeah. And the Eagles as a whole, I mean, Jalen Hurts has so much support now on offense. Like, the running game is going to be just a staple, I think, of mm-hmm. this year. Like, they're going to be able to hand the ball off to Saquon and feel like they can get four yards every time, four or five yards. Yeah. And no matter what, he's going to be there. It's like a, just it's like automatic. A, yeah. yeah, it's like a rock. And then it's going to open up. The offense because they're going to be able to just if they ha- if they have them. to look for the run with Saquon that leaves guys like AJ and, oh, and Devonte yeah. way more opportunity yeah. for an open pass a hundred percent and when you have two good wide receivers like mm-hmm. that I mean and I'm confident huge. that if you see either of those guys in one on one coverage that they're going to make a play mm-hmm. I mean AJ Brown's got a great jump ball and Devonte Smith is just he's fast and his route running is great and I mean he's had some incredible jump balls too like. Mm-hmm. Two, yeah, two elite receivers, yeah. an elite running back, Absolutely. an elite quarterback, a really good tight end, elite offensive line. Like, all the pieces are there. And I think we saw last year all the pieces don't work together well when your offensive coordinator does. I, I don't we understand football enough. But, yeah, we could all that. tell something was wrong. Yeah. I couldn't explain to you exactly what it is because I don't know well. enough. But, like, just watching, you were yeah. like, this is not good. We, I mean, we knew it was going to happen. It was like – you're going to get into third and longs every single time and yeah. they have to pump the ball Not away. to mention the defensive support they added, too. Also, like, the defense was really huge. bad in the second half. We added a lot in our secondary, and mm-hmm. I think that's the biggest thing. It's just like, that was... We just got burnt everywhere last mm-hmm. year. But I think we have a lot stronger of a defense this year, and I think that plays a big part of it. Absolutely. Yeah. So CJ Gardner-Johnson. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad he's back. And then the draft. We need cornerbacks. The draft. We yeah. need them. Darius Slay, Quinion Mitchell... Um, I think they moved Devontae Maddox to Cooper safety. Cooper DeGene. Cooper DeGene. Yeah. Quinion Mitchell has apparently been looking really good. Parent, yeah. Camp. Um, so that's that's super exciting. All the camp videos are so much fun. Like, yeah. It makes ah. the team look, I'm not saying way better than they are because they're going to be good. Yeah. But they make it look so good in training camp. <laughs> yeah, they post the highlights. And it is, it's always a little bit contradictory. It's like there would be a great offensive play. And people are in the comment. Like, you learn a lot about whether people are pessimistic or optimistic yeah. based on how they react. Because it's 
you can be glass half full or glass half empty. You look at a play and you're like, wow, that's a great offensive play. Or like, wow, our defense sucks. Or vice versa, like an interception. You can be like, oh, our defense is so good. Darius Slay got that pick. Or you can be like, ah, oh, Jalen Hurts threw an interception. So yeah. I love seeing those dynamics of like, what kind of fan are you? Are you the fan who complains about the other side? Or are you the fan who looks at the, the good positive, play? Yeah. Yeah. And right. I think we as a brand are, we're the positive side for sure yes so we're the people who were like that's a great defensive play probably not hurts his fault i bet it was just an amazing effort yeah. by the defensive back and yeah. So, yeah when when you're when you're listening to our podcast the glass is never half empty it's never half full as well it's always just completely full yes that's <laughs> how i would describe our podcast glass full glass yeah. filled to the brim yeah. so i was looking at a picture of a glass half full analogy and the glass there was water up halfway right that's how that picture looks. that makes sense yes i'm trying now yes, i understand most <laughs> times you, when you see a glass it starts a little narrow at the bottom and gets a little bigger towards the top that's just generally how glasses work why right? is that i don't uh, know easier for grip really it might actually be you should ask somebody at chick-fil-a let's ask like, why are our team? cups like i don't this? know but generally anyway, that's how a glass looks so if it is only halfway up it's not technically half empty or half full because there's going to be more volume at the top than at the bottom. So that's kind of like a pessimistic view. The pessimist would look at it and be like, well, actually, it's at the 50% line, but the volume of the bottom half is smaller than the top half. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> I'm kind of a little bit. Well, but the, the images <laughs> I've seen actually have the water up more than the, halfway. And those are the correct images. Like, that's, that's correct because mm. then it would be... Literally, but halfway. but honestly yeah. though, the how, best way to figure out halfway is measure the volume of the oh cup and add that much water. Right, but how yeah. can a photo, how, unless it's scientifically measured out, how can it a hundred percent be? It's always going to be one Pixel or the volume. other. It's going to be one or the other though. Like it's gonna, I'm um, guarantee you what? they didn't put science into this. Why are we talking about the <laughs> science? So I so about pixels it's going in to an be, image. It's going to be either be more full or more empty. So Why do you a, say that? There's a, there's a definite fifty percent though. But I guarantee you that those photos were not scientifically measured. Probably out. not. So it's either going to be one of no. I know what you're saying. Yeah. So then we can actually determine this so, based off the photo. Someone exactly. and if make it's a photo a algorithm you have to that count goes the in oh, and counts because the pixels that will, and scans that them because you can't measure volume of a photo. Oh, my word. Right. But if it's an actual glass, you can measure volume. Right. You can. But I'm saying nobody's probably ever done that. To well, get exactly. A glass exactly. Yeah. Are you saying somebody should? I. Think that should in be order a video. to be, yeah. and then and then we yeah, and then you need to take a photo of that glass. We can use an analytical <laughs> balance to mask the water. That's another way because to be able in order, to do it. or else it's just someone's right each time. This one, you never know who's right. It could be exactly. the optimist or the pessimist. But exactly. Anyway, I, I think I might title this episode "Glass Half Full," now, "Glass Half Empty," "Glass Completely if Full." People now, now a better way to say it would be. Glass partially empty or glass partially full. Right. Because partially is a generic term that doesn't, doesn't mean have to be exactly 50. half. Yeah. Partially could be. Should we start it's saying mostly that? Mostly full <laughs> or it's mostly empty. Right. It's partially. likely. It's likely to be mostly empty. Exactly. Mm. There's a there's a there's a high likelihood of this. So being. I would like to say that my view is generally the glass is partially full. <laughs> Spoken like a true scientist that yeah. you are. Are you glass half full or glass half empty on the Phillies after their six-game losing streak? I'm a glass partially full kind of guy. Okay. Over okay. You, I, you're not worried too I'm, much. I'm not. I am definitely kind of frustrated with it. It's not easy to be a Phillies fan and watch them go on that six-game losing streak. Watch guys like Harper and Turner be in these slumps. But, like, you know, it happens. Good teams go on losing streaks. Mm -hmm. And I think, like, now is the time to turn it around, pick things back up. We're recording on a Sunday night, and they just won tonight, mm. which is good. It snapped that streak. Um, frustrated, but not worried. I well said. Don't have much to add to that. People are freaking out. They're not going to make the playoffs. It's going to be a huge collapse. They're they're a good. They're one of the best Phillies teams we've ever seen in our lives. Yeah. Like they're going to be fine. The lineup is struggling. All the hitters are slumping, but like. They're, they have too many good hitters for all of them to continue slumping for this long. Like, someone's going to pick it up, and mm -hmm. then other people will pick it up, and, like, they'll they'll get back to where they were, and it'll just come down to what do they do in the playoffs. And it seems like after the last two years, they're so hungry to win a World Series after the, the disappointment yep. of the last two years. So they I'm not worried it. either. They want it very bad. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, honestly, ig- ignorance is bliss. Whoever came up with that saying, probably Muhammad Ali, right? <laughs> Glass partially full. Ignorance is bliss. We're yeah. done with all the idioms. Yeah, he was very smart because basically like, you know, I didn't even know that this happened because I was sidetracked with the Olympics and stuff. You know, I was watching too much of that. And so I was like, oh yeah, Phillies, like last I heard, they were up like 10 games, you know, and they were just cruising. And then you guys, well, I walked in and we were talking to him. Oh, they lost six games. I was like, what? Like, this is crazy. I remember watching it on like the phone and like we were on like a 12 game winning streak or something. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like they'll turn it around. You know, I trust in my guy Bryce and, you know, Reese. And Bohm. And, Reese, Reese, I hate or, to inform you, is gone. Oh, uh, why? Bohm and in Stott. Bohm and Stott and um, uh, Marsh and Alvarado and uh, Wheeler. I trust mm-hmm. all those guys. Yeah. So they'll turn it around. Yeah. I'm glad we're in agreement on that. Um, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. The Phillies will turn it around. Have hope. Um, go out there, have a glass, partially full week, two weeks. Um, and yeah, as always, like, comment, subscribe, let us know who won the draft. Um, share it with a friend. Yeah. We want your friends to watch us too, especially if they're a Philly sports fan, Mm -hmm. they're going to love our content. Think right now, somebody you know who's a Philadelphia sports fan. You know them because they're obnoxious and you know them. (laughs) They're that Mm -hmm. person. (laughs) Yeah. Send them this link to this episode. They'll love it. Yeah. For those Philly sports fans who have friends that aren't Philly sports fans and they think you're obnoxious... We resonate with you, and mm-hmm. we love you for that, mm-hmm. for your Philly sports fandom. And we also think your friend that's not a Philly sports fan is obnoxious, too. So, And if that person sent you this episode and you watched all the way to this point, thank you. Shout out to you if you made it all the way through this episode. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you guys next time for the last episode of the summer, I believe. Uh-huh. Wow. Crazy surreal. stuff. That is surreal. Adios, guys. We'll be back.